I knew you would be back. Welcome back everyone to the Boys and Girls Club of Tampa Bay Virtual Prodigy Art Program with Miss Tina, the club director at Wilbur Davis Boys and Girls Club. Today, we're gonna to be creating graduation caps. So here's some things you're gonna need. Light blue, orange, yellow, blue, and black paint, one small and medium paintbrush, one white cardstock or paper, your handy dandy blow dryer, a water cup, a paper towel, and a black marker. Before we get started, let's go over some art rules. Number one, stay focused. Number two, have fun. And number three, be creative. Let's begin. We're gonna take our black marker and we're gonna create an oval at the bottom of our paper. Now once we create that oval, we're going to draw to the left of our oval a curved line that goes inwards and then we're going to go to the right of that oval and draw another curved line. Now then we're going to connect those two curved lines with one straight line. Now we're going to go to the left of our cap and draw a diagonal right in the middle and then we're going to go to the right of our cap and draw another diagonal line. We're going to find the middle, put a dot, and connect those two lines to that dot to create the top of our graduation cap. Next, we're going to outline the top of our graduation cap by drawing two diagonal connecting lines. Now after we've connected those lines, we're going to draw two lines on the side of our graduation cap and that's going to create our tassel. Now underneath those two little lines, we're going to draw a nice little circle. And under that circle, we're going to draw a square, and that square is what's going to hold our tassel strings together. Now we're going to draw two straight lines that flare out to create our tassel strings. And then we're going to put the cap on our marker so it does not dry out. Now let's get ready to paint. We're going to grab our small paintbrush and dip it in water and dry it off with our paper towel to get paint ready. And then we're going to go in with our gray paint and we're just going to paint in just the trim at the top of our graduation cap. Make sure you take your time and stay in those lines. Next, we want to go in with our black paint. We're going to paint the top of our cap black. We want to make sure that we are careful and we stay in our lines not to get any of that black paint in the other parts of our graduation cap. We also want to make sure that we do not get any black paint inside of our tassel, so take your time. Stay focused, have fun, and be creative. Next up is our gray. We're gonna now begin to paint the midsection of our graduation cap gray. And we're gonna follow the same rules of staying completely in line in that midsection and paint that all the way gray. Next, we're going back in with our black and we're gonna to begin to paint the bottom portion of our graduation cap. With a little bit of black left on our paintbrush, we're gonna go back to that mid section and we're gonna add little stripes of black. Now let's take our handy dandy blow dryer and make sure our paper is completely dry. Now let's paint in our tassel. We're going in with the color yellow and we're gonna paint the top of our tassel and we're also gonna paint the lower bottom of our tassel. Now we're gonna go back in with our orange and we only need a tiny bit of orange 
and we're going to place that orange in our square that we created in our tassel and we're also going to draw some lines in our tassel using the orange paint to give our tassel a little bit of pizzazz. Next, we're going to go in with our blue and we're just going to paint in our little circle. It's background time. Now we're going to take our light blue and we're just going to paint our background a very light blue. And we want to make sure that we stay in our lines not to get any of that blue paint on our cap. So take your time. Stay focused and stay in those lines. Now let's take a moment and blow dry our paper. Now we can't do anything without wishing our graduates good luck. So we're just gonna write in good luck. And then we're going to go in with our blue and give it some lines for our background to give it some more pizzazz to our picture. Now once you put some pizzazz to your picture, give it to someone who's graduating. Thank you!